Hi guys, it's Paula. I hope you are doing well. This is one of two project introductions I am going to be um, uploading today on the 21st. Busy, busy week, lots of projects, lots going on. It's all very exciting. This project was created by a YouTuber on here. Her name is Billy, and this is a parks and rec related project. I could not pass it up when she invited me to join her and the others on this project. I loved Parks and Rec. I think it has since been re-released on one of the like Netflix, Hulu kind of deals. I don't have any of that. Once it left regular, you know, TV, I stopped watching it, but I loved that show. Uh, it's an ensemble cast with Amy Poehler, um, Rashida Jones, Nick Offerman, uh, Rhett, um, bunch of people, bunch of people. So I'm sure you guys all know the show. It's hysterical. It was the funniest comedy on for years and years and years. These ladies came up with five different props for products for this project and they were so hysterical. I just loved it. So let me show you the products. This project starts today on March 21st and it is only a two month project. So this is a fast one. Two months in project panning goes by in the blink of an eye for me. So I did have to focus on some products that I could actually use up in two months for the most part. So let's get started. The first um, prompt for the product is treat yourself which is hysterical because I still say that all the time. It came from the show, I love that. And so the item that I chose for that, for treat yourself, is a candle um, in honeysuckle. This is brand new, it's never been burnt. I have been hoarding candles along with hoarding makeup for many years. I stopped buying candles all together after uh, at the start of 2017. I haven't bought any candles in 2017 or 2007, 2018 except for some fundraising that came across my way. So I did buy some candles for that, but I haven't bought from like Bed Bath & Beyond or whatever, white the White Barn Candle Company at all in a year and a half. So um, the thing is, I'm really good about burning candles from throughout fall and winter. And the second spring hits, I stop burning them and I have a ton of spring scented candles in my stash that I would like to keep using up. So I'm gonna treat myself to honeysuckle over the next two months. Um, the next prompt for a product is, Anne, you beautiful tropical sunfish. Is that right? Yes. If you guys watch the show, you know that there was this amazing um, love affair between the two female characters, not a physical love affair, but an emotional love affair between these two girls. They were best friends and it was Amy Poehler who was Leslie Nopes and Rashida Jones who was Anne and they were the best of friends. And so, um, Leslie Nopes, Leslie Nopes would give Anne these, these crazy compliments like, Anne, you beautiful tropical sunfish that were so cute. But anyways, the point of the product is something that makes you feel beautiful. And for me, that is perfume. I love perfume and it definitely makes me feel beautiful. I've gotten in the habit of wearing it every day and if I don't leave the house with some perfume on, I feel a little strange. So I have gone with this deluxe sample of Heavenly from Victoria's Secret. I had this in a project, um, the Cupid's Bow project pan, and so I made some decent progress on it. I got through the fattest part of this little bottle, but I still have quite a bit left, and I would love to finish this in the next two months. So, and it's a pretty nice springy scent. Yes, it's not bad at all. So that is my second product for this project. The next prompt is Burt Macklin, which was Andy, Andy Dwyer's alter ego. So the idea for that is a product you would not normally use or something if you had an alter ego you would use. And for me, there is no doubt that it is only my alter ego that wears red lipstick. This Paula does not wear red lipstick. It's just not my go-to. I kind of have to force myself to use it. So definitely my alter ego shade. So I went with this 
sample called Easy from the Urban Decay line. I have used this once. It is open, but there is still a lot left. It takes me forever to get through these little, um, what are those called? Like the little pill thing of lipstick. So we'll see how far I can get. I don't even know if I can use this up over the next two months. I mean, maybe if I wore it every day, but I probably won't want to do that. So we'll see how far I can get with that little sample. The next prompt is called The Pit. And that is a product that you've been trying to make progress on and it just doesn't go anywhere. It just keeps going and going and going no matter how much you use it. And a product jumped right out at me for that one. And it is this eyebrow pencil right here. It's an old Maybelline pencil in the shade medium brown. It's uh, you know an eyebrow pencil. And I put this in a project last October or November. And I didn't use it right away. I probably didn't even start using it until December. And since then, I have been using it almost every day. And I have not needed to sharpen it once. I don't know how that is possible. It will not go down. I use it day after day after day, and it will not sharpen. I will be marking this on a piece of paper, but currently it is about the size of my palm. So... Who knows if I'll need to sharpen it at all over the next two months, but I thought this was the perfect item for this um, category for the project. So this pencil is definitely the pit. It won't go anywhere. And the last prompt for this project is your favorite character. That was a tough one for me to think about because every character in this show was my favorite character for different reasons. Very different people, very different you know personalities, but together, they made the show work and it's hard to imagine the show being as good as it is without any one of them with if any one of them were not part of the show they all were special to me in some different way but one character that was especially special was donna donna meagle she was so sassy she kind of was buddies with um tom she was buddies with tom and the two of them were just kind of living the life I would like to live, but I'm too busy, you know, working and taking care of the kids. But they were out there taking care of themselves, living lavishly. And so the product that I thought of for Donna is this face mask from Suwasu. I got this in my lucky bag from Beautylish. And um, it's just a single use, easy enough. And I will use this in the next two months because I put it in this project. If I don't put it in this project, I will never use it. Because one, I'm really bad about masking. And two, um, I just don't like to take the time to do it. I'm always like on the go. And by the time it's late, I'm too tired to mess around with the mask. So I'm going to put it in this project and make sure I use this. It's only a single use. It shouldn't be a problem. The value of this mask was like 12 bucks. So I definitely want to make sure I use it. So those are the five products for this project. Like I said, it's only a two month project. I'm going to have everybody who's doing it listed down below. Some of them are on Instagram. Um, Billy and I might be the only two that are here on YouTube, but go check out Billy's video and see what products she chose. A month from today, I will be posting an update to see what progress I've made and to check in with you guys, and then I'll do the finale the following month. Um, so really fast, really fast project. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.